know why you're here. Don't look at me like that, you filthy comma. You think you're special? You think you're so stinking special? Anytime you show up, you expect a pause in speech. Like a pause of respect. But you want to know the truth? You don't deserve that. That's right. I went there. I know you've been places you shouldn't be. You think you belong in sentences both you and I know you don't belong in. So you want to talk about that? No? I guess that's fine. I suppose you have your rights. You're the lawyer. I am. Mr. Punctuate. <laughs> Are you aware of your client's whereabouts on the evening of the 22nd? I am, and just what are you accusing my client of? Hmm. I guess we'll have to cut to a flashback. Fine then, roll it. I was sitting at my desk, going through all my difficult cases of grammar, semicolons, apostrophes, those dreaded quotation marks. You know how it goes. Then in comes a young girl in tears. I could tell she might be upset. The tears hinted that. I asked her... What's wrong, <laughs> crying young girl? I just saw a comma misused. Oh, no. Say it isn't so. I'm afraid it's so. <laughs> what was the sentence, poor crying young girl? It said, I had a great day, but, comma, it rained. Oh, no, that's obviously wrong. It should say, I had a great day, comma, but it rained. I know, everybody should know that. I mean, we live in America. But you have no proof. All you have is that crying young girl. Comma, were you in the wrong place at the wrong time? Clearly you belonged before the butt! Don't answer that! That's an unfair question! It was just one time, detective! Oh no! There was another time! I was sitting at my desk reviewing my new case on the misused comma when the crying young girl came in once again! <laughs> no! You're back, crying young girl! What's the matter? I saw another horribly bad comma used. What was it this time? <laughs> A sentence. A sentence. Oh. Calm down, dear crying young girl. <laughs> Detective Grammar's on the case. <laughs> the sentence said, I like fruits such as, comma, oranges, and apples. Oh. No! It's clear a comma shouldn't be allowed anywhere near that sentence. <laughs> but there it was, Detective Grammar. I tell you the truth. It was right there in the open for everyone to see its horrible face. Oh. This case just gets stranger and stranger. That's against the law, you know. My client can be anywhere he wants, and again, uh, <clears throat> you have no proof. Oh, that crying young girl came to visit me again. I was sitting at my desk reviewing my most difficult grammar cases when crying young girl burst through the doors, tears streaming down her face, fear in her eyes. I could tell that this young girl had been through more than your average Jane. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you, Detective Grimmer. I saw another horrible comma misused. Oh. No need to fret, poor crying young girl. That's what I'm here for. Tell me your problems. Help me build a case against this terribly misguided comma. <laughs> the sentence said, Oh, it was so horrible, Detective Kramer. <laughs> yes, yes, I know it's hard, but please, try to remember all the facts. It's very crucial, poor crying young girl. The sentence said, the boy was born 
in June 31st, comma, 1928 in Nebraska. Oh. But it's clear there should be a comma after 1928 as well as June 31st. <laughs> but wait, Detective Kramer, it gets worse. <laughs> <gasps> I know, right? <laughs> I saw another sentence that read, Mr. Ellis teaches in Converse, comma, Texas at Judson High School. <laughs> Was there not another comma after the word Texas? There was not. <laughs> the AP style book insists on it. So does the Chicago Manual of Style. <laughs> Don't tell me it gets worse. But it did. It did? Oh, it did. It does. I saw another sentence that said he graduated in 1932, comma, at the Majestic Theater. <laughs> but no comma belongs there. But no comma belongs there. That's correct. Uh, 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 my client. Um, uh, yeah, my client. He, uh, okay, I have to switch sides. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. You're wrong. Uh, I can't represent you. I'd like to say, dear viewer, that the case of the misused comma is closed, but it's not. The comma is misused every day, but you can help put a stop to it. You can help the world keep spinning and young girls from crying. Today is your day. Today is the day to use a comma correctly. Do it for me. Do it for you. Do it for your unborn children.